Microplastics penetrate the brain. Two hours is enough. New research suggests that tiny pieces of plastic can enter the brain in a very short time. In mice administered food and plastic particles contaminated with microplastics have been found just two hours after ingestion. Unfortunately, we have the risk of encountering microplastic stealing at every step. It is present in the air, water, and soil. Ubiquitous contact with plastics causes their pieces to they get into our bodies. In research from last year, scientists they showed that we consume up to 5 grams of microplastics per week. Recently researchers also identified a new disease affecting seabirds not by bacteria or viruses, but by tiny particles of plastic that they enter the digestive tract. Recent research conducted by scientists from the University of Vienna and the University of Debrecen have shown that already two hours after ingestion in brains, lab mice can be detected small polystyrene particles, a widely used plastic commonly used for food packaging. These plastic particles, researchers say, they may increase the risk of inflammation of the nerves neurological disorders or diseases neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. The description and research results were published in the magazine Nanomaterials. Microplastics are plastic fragments with sizes 0.1 to 5,000 micrometers. It is found on human skin, hair, saliva, lungs, in stool samples, but also in blood. It is estimated, for example, that when drinking bottled water in during the year, we are able to absorb an estimated 90,000 such molecules. This material not only enters our digestive system, but also can cross the intestinal barrier. Another disturbing information is that microplastics were found in the meconium, first feces, of newborns. Microplastic is able to cross at the presence of microplastics in our body is associated with numerous diseases. However, there is still none detailed studies of the damage it may cause. The world of medicine has suspicions about its potential impact on the functioning of our brain. Scientists believe that plastic particles can contribute to the formation it includes inflammation, neurological disorders and even neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's diseases. However, so far it has not been clear can microplastics even access the brain because for this purpose he would have to overcome the blood-brain barrier. To determine whether plastic can enter the brain, research was carried out on rodents. Used for this purpose micro and nanoplastic molecules specifically polystyrene. They have been given oral mice. Then, after two to four hours, these mice remain dormant to take samples of their brains. Based on the samples examined, the researchers found that the smallest of the molecules could be found in rodent brains after just two hours. However, as it also turns out, the size of the particles matters. The presence of the largest ones was not found in mouse brains at all. Key however, there was a statement about where exactly microplastics could get there. For this purpose, special computer simulations were used, using which a potential passive mechanism could be traced transporting plastic particles to the brain. This mechanism is supported partly because of cholesterol molecules that help overcome the barrier cellular intended to protect the brain against toxins and pathogens. In this way at the same time, we managed to discover a completely new path thanks to which microplastics it can move at all. Research will be important for better understanding the impact of these harmful molecules on our body. Meanwhile however, it will be crucial to do everything possible to minimize the risk of them entering our body.